All right, so um, it's been almost a month, and this is the driver's side with the uh, vapor resin I put on it, and um, it still looks pretty good. Now I put uh, auto ceramic on that, and then over here on the passenger side, I did the vapor resin to it. Did not put auto ceramic on it. Still looks fabulous, like the first day I did it. Now I do have some thoughts on this. This application with the uh, vapor resin. Hey, how's it going? It's Neil, just keeping it real. Uh, yeah, so my thoughts on what I just showed you with the headlights that I've, that I've done. I applied the uh, vapor resin to my own car and the passenger side did not have the auto ceramic on it. The driver's side had the auto ceramic on it. So it's, it's kind of barely a month since I did it, but I think there is somewhat of a slight difference. I mean, you probably couldn't see it right away, but the passenger side really looked the crispest. It, I mean, I was crispest. That's the crispy, crispiest. <laughs> the passenger side looked the best. Actually, in my opinion, uh, didn't put anything on it. Now, there is a YouTube uh, creator who deals with headlights as well. And his name is, you know, Pro Headlights. Pro Headlights really did a video demonstration of the use of the polymer uh, vapor. It's basically what it's called. You know, it's kind of a polymer vapor. The explanation of the polymer vapor is that it has a chemical reaction to the polycarbonate plastic of the headlight. So when the polymer vapor makes contact with it, there's actually a, a melting reaction where, you know, once you, you know, you use fine grit sandpaper, you know, you still see a little bit of the mini scratches, uh, it just flattens it out. So the vapor uh, polymer reaction to the uh, plastic, it flattens it out. And so that's, that's why you see that real clearing of the headlights when you apply that vapor, once that vapor hits it. It's just that chemical reaction that's just flattening it out and just making it look real nice and clear. Now, I think there's something in the uh, polymer chemical that's supposed to have a UV effect itself. Although it, it, it doesn't last the, um, it doesn't last as long as the factory UV coating. The factory UV coating on those headlights, when they brand new, uh, those things will last about six, seven years <laughs> before it actually starts deteriorating. So anyway, uh, Pro Headlights, that's the name of the guy, his YouTube channel, uh, he basically says you don't need to apply anything on top of it and that it lasts about three years. So I looked at it, the date of his video, is it, he did it back in 2020. So it's been over two years that he actually applied the poly uh, vapor to the headlights that he, he did in the video. So to me, you know, he has more of authority on it because he's done it longer. And so if he says it, it lasts two years, uh, up to three years, then, you know, it's all good with me. So I did put a link to his YouTube channel down below my detail box. So you can go and check that out yourself, um, which is really nice. The result is just the same. And so it's supposed to last three years. So I will, I will give him credit, uh, Pro Headlights, because, you know, he has more experience on, on dealing with that. He's done it for two years. And so um, that just lets me know that I can use this method now on the clients that I serve. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about that, you know, this technique of using it. Uh, it is said that the reason for this, this method is so that anybody can do it. Um, I will slightly disagree on that. Uh, when it comes to doing it, the actual method with that little kettle and you put the vapor on the headlight, yeah, that's easy. But when it comes to removing the oxidation from the headlights, you still got to go and hit that joker with wet sanding. So um, 
Yeah, I, you know, partially I can agree that once it comes to the applying of the vapor to the headlight, I mean, it's this simple, you know. Yeah, I, I guess anybody can do that. But to get to that point, <laughs> you have to first remove the oxidation from the headlights. Now, that is where you have to have that skill level as, you know, somebody who knows how to restore headlights. Okay, so that's, that's my findings on the, um, the polymer vapor method of uh, clearing the headlights. Um, it is, it's, it's a method I, I have not been used to. It's, it was, it's new to me as it is probably to some of you who have seen me uh, do it on my video. But I wanted to do research to see how long it lasts because that's, that was the only concern. How long does it last? Um, there was someone who did it on Facebook and the guy said that it would only last it maybe three, four months. You know, he said it only lasts about a quarter of the year. And I'm just thinking that when he applied it on his headlights, he probably didn't let it cure. You go putting polish on top of it, or you go trying to put auto ceramic on top of it, once you finish applying the, uh, the poly vapor to it, uh, and it doesn't cure, you might be just interrupting with the, the quality results, the outcome. You know, you could just mess it up, basically. <laughs> and so maybe initially it might look good, but because you you didn't let that uh, because you didn't let that cure uh, over a short period of time, it just it goes bad. So that may have been what happened to you know some guy on Facebook. You know he he probably just didn't let it cure. So the cure time, from what I've seen uh, with others who are using this technique, is about three to four days. So obviously I waited a week. I just want to make sure I let it, I let it set for a week before I put the auto ceramic on it on the driver's side headlight. But on the passenger side, I just applied the, the poly uh, vapor resin on it and I didn't put anything on top of it. And so from what you guys saw there, I mean, it, it looks like the same day that I've done it. I mean, it's been almost about a month since I did it. And it still looked like this, this, the first day I did it, which is amazing, you know? So running into uh, the YouTube creator, uh, Pro Headlights, who, who he did this two years ago, and to say that, you know, it's, it'll last up to three years, uh, I have to go with him because, you know, he, he's been doing it longer. And so it's been over two years. And, and, if, and if what he says is true, then, you know, I have to assume that the quality will last just that long. Uh, will it make a difference between whether somebody have their car outside in the sun or they put it in the garage? It probably would. It, it might actually last even longer if the car is kept inside the garage. Maybe five years, okay, six years. So um, I'm feeling really good about uh, this method of the uh, poly vapor application of this resin on the headlight. Um, and it's interesting just to learn about the, the chemical reaction to the polycarbonate when this uh, resin hits it, you know. So uh, I'm blown away by that. So anyway, I just thought I'd, you know, post this video to let you guys know uh, my findings on it, what I've seen so far with what I've done to my car, what I have seen and heard from others uh, on YouTube who've used, who've used this uh, product. So... If you want to go check that out yourself, I, I got the uh, link to Pro uh, Headlights in my detail box below. So go ahead and check that out. One other bit of side note uh, that I want to interject into this video before it ends is to basically kind of, you know, give you some tips on the kind of kit that you should get. I mean, it's the same stuff, but if you notice in the picture, which is on, you know, my uh, right side in the photo there, um, there is a plastic clear stem, okay, that comes from the cap that goes over the kettle. So you want to make sure that if you buy a kit of this polymer application, make sure that that kit comes with that clear stem and it's flexible because, you know, you don't want to try to see, cause I got the kit that only has that white, uh, fixed funnel there. Okay. I can't bend that. The problem is is when you're 
when you're at the top of the headlight, and I mean, some of these headlights, uh, the, the very top is almost like looking down on a flat table. And if you tilt the uh, polymer canister too far, you actually spill the chemical out onto the uh, lens. And it doesn't permanently damage the lens, it's just that it would be a nasty drop. And you'll have to, you know, sand it, just like you're dealing with orange peel. <laughs> you have to really just sand it back down and get it to how you did, you know, when you start applying it the first time. And so, it's, you know, if you, if you want to really avoid having to do that, um, having that plastic clear flexible stem cap is very important. So that way you don't have to tilt the can. You know, you can just bend that plastic stem to apply that vapor and... And that way, you know, you don't take the chance of spilling any of the liquid. Okay, so I just thought I'd mention that because, I mean, if you were looking at this photo here, you know, you might have wondered, well, why do I have that circled in red? And that's that's the reason why. So if you get the uh, Polymar um, Vapor Kit, make sure that it comes with that other option as well, the uh, plastic uh, flexible stem there. All righty. Okay, so just thought I'd do this video so you guys could see uh, what was the latest uh, information on applying the uh, poly vapor uh, resin to the headlight. So it's an interesting method, and, uh, and that's what I'm going to be using for my clients now going forward. Alrighty, so we'll catch you guys in the next video. This is Neil, and I'm just keeping it real. Take care.